see it's so stretchy, it's elastic. <laughs> Today's going to be a pretty like spontaneous day. I hadn't planned out. I had planned to just get some work done and go to the gym. But I got a message from my Indian friend at half eight this morning saying that for like the first day of spring they have like a big celebration called Holly or I think it's Holly or Holy. So he said there's a massive celebration in Cormi. There's some really good Indian cuisine, some um, like colorful powder paint that they use and it's, it's something new it's something i didn't even know existed so he texted me saying it was on today if he wanted to come out uh do so so i did so i got some work done this morning uh, in costa i got to the gym now i had the rest of the day to eat some indian food to meet some new people to soak up this glorious glorious sun it's gonna be a great weekend i cannot wait meet as many people as i can get them on this camera get them talking about food and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so I have good and I have bad news. I'm two and a half hours late, granted, right? I realize that. So I'm pretty renowned for being like the most unreliable person when it comes to public transport and being on time. And it's, it's finished, they're closing up, everything's done. So we missed the Indian Festival. But not to worry, there is another event in Valletta today. It's like a really traditional uh, Maltese boat race. It happens once a year uh, today on this public holiday. I don't know if you can see the bus to Valletta. So I'm gonna get that and see if I can get the end of the boat race. <laughs> As well as that, I've had to wait 40 minutes for the bus now, and I have to wait another 15 minutes, and it is baking hot out here. I am literally sweating profusely from every pore in my body. As in, I'm, I'm hot, but I don't think I'm getting sunburnt. I'm dehydrated. I'm hot. I feel like I'm in the middle of a desert. Oh God, send help. Okay, so we're in Valletta now. Um, the boat race is over, but there's still a really good hype around. Hundreds of people walking on the streets. It's like the most stereotypical Italian, Mediterranean, like Southern Europe country. High rise buildings, narrow streets, old, uh, old stone architecture. It's like, it's just beautiful. So I do realize that I kind of messed up this vlog. I wanted to get like a cool Indian cultural day and it didn't happen, but Nonetheless, I'm going to make up for it. So how about, so how about we make homemade pizza from scratch? Something I've been to do for a while. I have all the ingredients got. So let's see here, let's go back and let's make some pizza from scratch. on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension.
basically how simple it is to make pizza. Okay, four ingredients, flour, yeast, salt, and some water. You can put a little bit of olive oil in too, but I'm gonna put that on the top of the pizza when I'm cooking it. Just add them all together. Make sure the water is warm, that's important. And uh, just a small little bit to bring it together. And then the most important thing is to knead it. So you don't wanna be doing this for probably three, four, five minutes. Like you really need to make sure you knead it properly because the more you knead it, the more you're breaking down the gluten, which is the protein inside it. And that gives it the elastic kind of really nice pizza crust texture and consistency that you're familiar with. So you know the more you knead it, the more it comes together as a really nice doughy ball. So you'll see now it's like really nice and stretchy. What we're gonna do is leave a proof. So I'm just gonna put this on a baking tray, cover it with a little bit of flour and leave it for two hours. That's gonna give the yeast time to activate, plump up, and this should be twice the size as it will be now. So some time has passed, probably like two and a half hours. If you give a look at these now, you will see they have risen, or they've doubled in size pretty much, and if you touch them, they're like little like pillows of fluff. They just sink in, and that's exactly what you want. That means the yeast has worked, it has risen, and they're pretty much ready to go. So making your own tomato sauce is pretty simple. All I did was a tin of chopped tomatoes, some garlic, some onions, really finely chopped in a saucepan. Lightly brown them off first, some basil, some oregano, and then just slowly bring that down into a nice reduction sauce. So the exact same as last time, we're gonna get some flour and just dust it on our surface. We're gonna take one of them. Beautiful, oh, it's so, you can see it's so stretchy, it's elastic, it's, oh, it's, it's exactly what you want your pizza to be. You don't have to roll it necessarily, once you just drag it, it should, the elastic from the yeast to just stretch it down. So beautiful. You can even do some nice Italian swigs like that. I can't do it really. So you can, just to encourage you, you can give it a little bit of a roll. I'm, I'm just using a small glass. Don't over stretch it because then it will go too thin and it may break. So I'm gonna do two. So they're nice little bite sized mini pizzas as we call them. So I've let my homemade passata sauce cool down a little bit in a bowl. So we don't want to overfill these either. Half a tablespoon first, mix it all around just to the edges. So here I have some chopped turkey and some salami, some cherry tomatoes and then my white cheese. So again with the cheese is a way for you to personalize it. Mozzarella is a classic but you can always do whatever cheese you want. Some goat cheese is beautiful. So I'm just gonna put some oil in our pan so they don't stick. So once your meat and toppings are on them, you wanna go seasoning. So I have some basil, I have some thyme, salt and pepper, and a drizzle of oil just to finish off and then whack them in the oven until the cheese is melted you can see the crust is brown and crispy and then you devour them so it's the next day those pizzas were absolutely Bueno. You can notice the difference of a fresh pizza as opposed to a frozen cooked one and you saw how simple it is to make. So next time at home, please do try and make your own pizza instead of ordering in a new one. You can always replace the base with a wrap to make it a lower calorie option. Baking like that is pretty fun anyway, so you know, do it with friends, do it with family, whatever. Thank you so much for watching as always. I appreciate you watching these videos. Subscribe if you haven't, like the video. Keep on cooking. Ciao, ciao. Bye.